Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Elena Muratova. I'm Olympian, happy body coach and motivational speaker. Here I share knowledge and tips about wellness, including weight loss, exercising, self-care, body image and reconnection with the body. Here you find understanding, support and motivation. Are you wondering about my unusual hairstyle? To tell the whole story, I need to start from my childhood. My dad was an alpine skiing coach. There is no surprise I started to ski when I was three years old. Unfortunately, my dad couldn't separate effectively two roles of being a father and a coach. He was more my coach than my dad. I had to take first places to feel his love. That is why sport wasn't just an hobby for me. It was a way to merit my dad's attention and acceptance. All this affected my relationship with my body, which I simply used as a tool to succeed in sport. I learned how not to listen to my body signals, how to ignore discomfort and pain. My dad taught me to accept only strength parts in me and disregard weakness. Every year, kids in my sport club, including me, underwent medical tests and specific tests for athletes. The purpose of these tests was to measure our health, to check our health and to, to check our fitness level. I felt proud that my body was strong and healthy. In my childhood, I had many hard moments, almost no support, and often felt helpless and out of control. My body was one of a few things that I could control and rely on. It simply couldn't be weak. When I turned 13 years old, my body betrayed me. I noticed a few bald spots in my nape area. I was terrified. My mom and I went to medical clinic and hospital where I had huge number of medical tests. However, a doctor couldn't determine my disease and couldn't name the reasons of my hair loss. With an icy voice, the doctor said, you have quit sport and take these hormonal pills. Ah, uh, for how long? My mom asked. For whole life? The doctor answered with no empathy. Being in shock, I still knew it was out of the discussion. The sport was all my life. I couldn't quit. I continued to train and compete. Fortunately, my bald spots recovered without any treatment, but just for a while. At that moment, I realized that my body was out of my control and I couldn't rely on it anymore. My anxiety was at a high level all the time because I never knew how much hair I would lose when at, at what spots. Ten years later, I discovered that name of my disease is alopecia. It doesn't affect my health, only my appearance. And two years later, after that discovery, I was in the Olympic team with Russia and prepared to Olympic Games 2014. It was extremely stressful time, even without alopecia. Hair loss added more stress. 
For a while, I was able to hide my bald spots under the hair I still had left. In 2016, I had to cover my head with something when I was in public. And I hated it. It was uncomfortable and kept me under the tension all the time. I constantly worried that other people would notice my boldness. The only one way to escape from that unbearable situation was to shave my head. I was shivering inside when my husband took a shaving machine and approached me. I closed my eyes and a few seconds later I felt a cold metal of a shaving machine on my scalp. Time went slow. And finally, the terrifying shaming machine stopped to make noise. I was sitting in front of the mirror and I was afraid to open my eyes. Five seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds. I inhaled deeply and opened my eyes. I'm almost crying, but not because of the hard feelings, but because of the colossal relief I experience. My appearance is unusual, but pretty nice. At that time I understood that I could live happily again. I was not only able to accept my appearance, but also my body with its weakness. Surprisingly, acceptance of my weakness and helplessness gave me strength. I became more confident, relaxed, and happy. I started to listen to my body and care about it. Meeting with your weakness is hard and terrifying. Weakness may be seen as something that makes you vulnerable and fragile. However, it's only true when you're afraid of your weakness, when you judge it, ignore it, and suppress it. Acceptance of your weakness gives you true strength, ability to love yourself and enjoy your life. How do you treat your weakness? What do you sacrifice by not accepting yourself? Thank you for watching this video. Please feel free to leave your comments or questions below the video. And I'll be so honored if you subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day or night, whatever time of the day is now in your area. I hope to see you soon and to tell you more about myself and about wellness. Bye.